And we're going to step into this little reminder that compassion is simply a kind, friendly presence in face of what's difficult. Often the promise of complexity is perceived as complicated, sometimes experienced as difficult, when actually the promise of complexity is the gentle and ever present reminder of our interconnectedness and ever present wholeness. It is an invitation to recognize our interbeing. So I'm gonna invite us all to explore this today through our breath, body, and a little poetry. So as I move into those um, poetic invitations from Gary Snyder, just continue to notice what's arising in your body and, and um, follow the guide that is your breath. But let's begin by settling into a position that is comfortable uh, while still alert and uplifted. A sense of ease and dignity. Breathe deeply in this moment. Allow your awareness to turn inward and soften your gaze and either close your eyes or allow your gaze to drop just in front of you. And with your breath as a guide, sense into softening this body. Another deep breath, inhale, hold, exhale. Consider setting the intention to just meet yourself and whatever arises with warmth and affection. Sense this warmth with each inhale, offering spaciousness to every cell in your body. This complexity of a few million cells agreeing to be you for a little while. And with that, the joy of interbeing with self and others. The phenomenal world all around you. Sit and breathe. Just to sit and breathe. Gathering together in this mindful moment is not to fix yourself, to heal yourself, to improve yourself, or even redeem yourself. It is an act of love, of deep, warm friendship with the complexity of this self. meeting yourself right where you are. It's 
Let's rest here in this compassionate breath and warm embrace. Take a moment to send a compassionate wish to every organ in your body and all the cells and connective tissue and mitochondria, all those little worlds the complexity of their interrelationship, interbeing. It allow you to interbe with the whole world. Allow these compassionate wishes to touch your heart. And your breath to guide you. So we share this poem from Gary Snyder. As the poets, the earth poets who write small poems need help from no man. The air poets play out the swiftest gales and sometimes loll in the eddies, poem after poem, curling back on the same thrust. At 50 below, fuel oil won't flow and propane stays in the tank. Fire poets, burn at absolute zero. Fossil love pumped back up. The first water poet stayed down six years. He was covered with seaweed, the life in his poem. Left millions of tiny different tracks, crisscrossing through the mud. With the sun and moon in his belly, the space poet sleeps. No end to the sky, but his poems like wild geese fly off the edge. A mind poet stays in the house. The house is empty and it has no walls. The poem is seen from all sides everywhere at once. Breathe deeply, this beautiful poetic invitation to recognize complexity. Notice it is clear where love is needed, it needs to be applied to these barriers between us and this life. And I offer you care in this moment in your difficulties. May you be held in compassion and may your heart be at peace. Gently hold whatever it is that arises today and take a moment to plant and water the seeds of compassion. And as E.B. White reminds us, be alert to the presence of wonder. This wonder where compassion arises in your life and in the day to day. Good morning. And welcome.
and one tugs at a single thing in nature, they find it is attached to the rest of the world. 